I didn't realize that I'd just be like churning through this entire game in one one day, but here we are. Okay, so we've got some guard posts. We got some stuff. Build a well here. Or do we build it here? It'll it'll affect two of them. But it'll let me get more houses. In the grand scheme of things. Let's do that. Because I can just put houses there. Okay. So it looks like this entire lower section is more or less just pure defense. If I wanted to, I could totally... Wait. Can they attack from any of the other direct? I don't know. Because if I'm real lucky, they'll only attack from this staircase. So if I just concentrate all of my defenses there? Maybe? Okay, six dev. Okay, don't have any more. How much do we need to build all of this? One guy on lumber. Sure, why not? Okay, for better or worse, I'm going to move all my guys right here. If we lose this house, and maybe that tower, for the the sake of one hell of a choke point, maybe? Maybe not. Okay. Looks like they attack from the lower right. They're going to attack from each side. The main question is, do they automatically follow the roads? Or will they climb up over here where my mouse is? Because if they can climb up this, then I have to worry a little bit more. But if they don't, it makes my life infinitely easier. Okay. And as per our usual strategy... Oh, right. A daily max for the beacon fire. Sure. Ballista bombardment, and the merchants show up. Well, that's fine. What? Uh, okay. You can destroy those, apparently. C can I repair them? Sure, why not? I mean, it's hardly expensive. Oh, <laughs> uh, my audience is is yelling orders to the single guy that I had on on blank resources. Speaking of blank resources, uh, I think that's a fine division of labor. No, it's not. What am I doing? House. How do I do? All right, let's just go with the really lazy method. There we go. More people harvest in two days. That should be enough. Oh, I still had... Nope. Once again, it resets the whole beacon fire situation. I don't know why it does that. That's dumb. Okay. Lightly decline. I've never had that succeed, and it's scary. And we're out of food. Oh. We'll harvest in one day. But it looks like I'm going to need a lot more people early. Let's build a farm. Sign work. And everybody else on lumber. Lumber is the backbone of, of society and stuff. See what we get? I lose my lumber. Oh no. Never will I do. What? Oh. I just had to back out and do other things. Okay, so back in the beacon, everything, spears will get done eventually. Lost some lumber, but who gives a dang doodle? 
And we get we get some food. Yeah. All right, so we eat 33. Let's round it up. We need 160 food per section. So yeah, having that amount is a good good idea. Okay. So I need more spears. But that surprises nobody. Back on the beacon fires, you ninnies! Okay. Ballista fire. Is it just nothing going to attack me? Or is it like day 36 that they... Just attack? Am I just supposed to build up? Or... They're just hitting my like outer walls, but I don't know if those outer walls do anything? Uh, let's see, beacon fire is going, plenty of lumber, stupid amounts of lumber. Yeah, I'm afraid to do anything more here. Oh shoot, you know what? I, well, no. Where's the black market dude? I think it's just RNG if they attack or not. Uh, oh, there he is. Hello! You can have these things. I don't... I'll probably have to spend resources on... stuff. I like it how... the world goes... you know, time passes really quickly, but these guys move at the same speed. They march to the beat of their own drums and then some. Okay, so I can't get anybody else. Yeah, build more farms. So the question is, do we... Is this sufficient? Or do we want to try and get more people? Because I could always destroy some of these outer structures. Not this one, but this specifically. Let's do it, actually. That one, at least. These in here... Get rid of that one, because that's terrible positioning. You know what? Let's double down. Hard as we can. Where's the best, most secure location up here? Probably something like this. I, get, I have enough for at least two more houses. Hilariously, these staircases count as roads, so I can kind of abuse them a little bit. <laughs> I have no idea how people reach that far. The road system is a mess in this place. Well, it's because the staircases count as roads, so this entire thing is just a horror. Yeah, so the beacon fire is unmanned again, surprising no one. Okay, let's build up. Okay, and we now have enough for more. Ah, the orcs have come. Finally! Oh my god. I might have messed up. Okay. So, I think I know how this works. And they probably could have explained this better. But that's okay. 
Forge too. Because I think I'll be fine. So effectively, at set intervals, we're going to have a new wave of dudes roll in. I think that's I think that's how this works. And the point is we're just supposed to hold out until then, I guess. Okay, and we get a bomb. Which is not useful, necessarily. Okay, and my guys. Looks like I should probably produce a little bit of uh, armor. So let's just make some armor for now. Be uh, dudes are still on the beacon. Uh, we don't want to overman right now. We have a lot of people. Food might be a problem. We're going to get a hell of a lot of wood for this. I mean, ultimately, we might just be able to weather the assault with pure gusto. Who knows? Having that pickaxe that just gives me a constant income uh, of like one person's worth of iron every round is incredible. I, I don't think I've really like mentioned that, but it's stupidly helpful. Okay. Yeah, I can start affording Ballista. But I kind of want to hold off on that, at least until we're done with the beacon fire, probably. Uh, so we might as well mine some iron while we're here. And also, armor. Fortunately, it's kind of difficult to tell. Need armor. Need more armor? Oh, Oh, and the beacon fire people have, uh, completely checked out again. No one is wounded. So you defend lower right. No. I will defend nowhere but my base. Everything else is pointless. There we go. Yeah, so I, I might want to just mass produce some um, iron here for a while. What do you mean minus 12 iron? I got 14. Some game. Oh, it's also best to only have... Oh, I see, it's... It'll cost... I see, it does it piecemeal, it's not... I'm being dumb. Let's just make a bunch of iron, seeing as we're more limited on that right now. And... We only need two people on that. So, there we go. Beacon fired, 105%. Oh. Okay, reinforce the structure with 24 iron, sure. I don't actually know if that helps. Anywho, I've built the beacon, it's done. So now we're we're maxed on that. We don't want to end day, we want to build a house here. Here, and here. I'm not really sure how that's supposed to work, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, so this is going to inundate us with a whole bunch of resources. And people. Oh, getting attacked again. Okay. So this is what I needed to know. They will come up this way. So the cannon will wreck my... The cannon will wreck my, um, my stuff. 
stupid. Okay. Luckily, I'm stupidly powerful, and nothing can harm me. Does that sound egotistical? Because it kind of is. Oh, wrong guy. Oh no. Oh well. Okay, the horse folk from the west have seen the fire and come to our aid. What? Horse folk. Oh. Okay, I. That's a lot of horse folk. Oh god, I'm gonna have to feed all of these people. Shit. Uh, we should probably build another farm. Just in case. Oh, that's that's vibrating a little intensely. Uh, for my tastes. Okay. So I've got. I got a lot of people now. just do that. I don't even know what to do with the horse people. Yeah. <laughs> Rohan came to our aid. We're fucking Gondor. Of course we're Gondor. This game this game never had enough uh, originality to be anything but Gondor. I mean, it's original enough, but... We all knew it was coming. I really would like to see if I could build walls there, but I don't know if it would really help. Okay, I got two more spare people. Let's put them on armor for now. Because if I can have a stockpile of that in case I run into trouble. Uh, the Northmen have sailed in to help us. How long? One day. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let's go get rid of that shit. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to concentrate the vast meat of my defenses here. Because most ways are gonna head this way. And then we'll have one secondary group over on the side, and I can kind of move around. Um, I should... We'll do one more round of armor, I think. And then I'll switch over entirely to ballistas. Keep the extra walls. They distract the enemy. Let's let him stay. Oh! We've unlocked the engineer for future games. Huh! So there is a meta progression system in this game. Let's see. Uh, no towers. The reason why I'm not bothering with towers is we haven't been hit by anything particularly dangerous yet. Um, okay, that's enough. Do we want to? We want to produce spears. Now, how am I doing on food? I've got a lot of food, so I'm probably safe. Let's just produce a shit ton of spears for a little while. It's not like I need any advanced units. Pretty much. Okay, the Orc Warchief himself has come to Ironhold. Okay, well, there's our... There's a war chief. Let's see how fast he dies. There he goes. Yeah, didn't even... Didn't even touch my dude. Okay, let's do that. My units will heal. 
any of them take damage. I know what to do. Yeah, so, uh, th we just killed Thrall. This is a weird crossover game. Oh, and the Mighty Templar have joined our party. Cool. Um... We don't need armor. I mean, we do. Oh, cool. We have chain heal. Good. Okay, so we, we've got a healer character that I can rely upon. Didn't heal the singular person that needed healing. What? How's his armor doing? Yeah, for tanking the uh, the orcish clan chief, whatever, uh, worked out pretty fine. Also, fun fact, I don't need all this food. None of these spare troops cost me a dime. Okay. So I am going to take some off of iron because I'm not going to need it. Let's produce eight spears today. And then it's probably time that I start spitting ballistas because we're going to need the extra... We're going to need the extra firepower. Okay, there goes all of my spears. We'll stop producing spears for a bit. Gonna need... It's all hands on deck to build these things. Yeah, the reason why I've been waiting so long on building towers... Hey, Jerry, get back in lumber. Oh, wait, no, you can have Bill. There we go. The reason why I wait so long on towers is because they're a straight-up drain. If I, um... Uh... Well, I no longer will ever find those healers. Oh, no. This is they. Heal these guys! You mean to do Boom. Didn't heal him much at all. All right, whatever. I give up. Um, but every ballista tower more or less cuts my uh, my workforce by one. So, um, so if I if I don't use them uh, until now. We can more or less stockpile stupid stupid amounts of resources, so when we finally hit this point, I can then just spit towers and be done with it. And yeah, at this point I have so many units, I could very easily just hang out here. I really wish they'd actually attack in sequence from these, so eventually you're just defending from one side or something. I don't know, whatever. Uh... Uh, sign work. I mean, I'm more or less just gonna let it go. I don't think we're gonna run out of food here. We might. Okay, that's a bunch of undead hanging out in there. That's my dude. Okay. Gotta get over here. This is... He is actually dying. Okay, there we go. We're gonna need the healer. Oh, shit. Did he just... He just got aced. I severely underestimated it, dude. Okay. Well, that sucks. Forward, 
Yeah, I, I even used his, like, Shield of Faith, but I guess he got popped off immediately? I'm not wholly certain. Okay, I'm gonna take the Berserkers back. Um... Should probably actually produce some axes. I guess I need some of those infinite guard post dudes. Okay, so we get hit by arrow fire. Some of these guys are a little bit more wounded than others. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, but... I mean, I, I can deal with that. With it, losing the guy, it just is unfortunate. Okay, well, I can't produce any more axes. We don't need any more spears, period. Uh, I guess, actually... We just have to produce 16 iron... ...per round. And then I can just spit axes here. Okay, lumber, end day. At this point, I shouldn't stinge. Let's pay the money. Uh, let's see. Defenses. So we want to do guard towers. Three right there. Lacks a road? Really? News to me. Yeah, so let's just, let's just go full in on defenses. I mean, I'm... More or less loaded. Let's see what we get? We get nine bows. And this guy has a health potion. Okay. Next up, defenses ballistas. Need more weapons. Okay. So this is going to take a very long time. Maybe not as long as I thought I was going to. We're just going to... It'd be nice if I had some trebuchets. Oh, we've got undead. Okay. I'm going to move this guy over here. I'm more or less going to micro shield man, because I think he needs it more. He needs to be over here more. Possibly these guys too. Okay, almost time for a shield of faith. Downright melee we've got here. I'm glad I went with a paladin. But yeah, this certainly got a little bit um, punchier. By this point. Okay, we get a merchant. Kind of nice. Okay, we're gonna probably also want to just produce some armor here. Yeah, let's switch back to armor production. Buildings are on that. Don't know how many people I lost in that fight. Possibly not many. Oh, I might have lost the priests, because they're stupid. Yeah, the, honestly, the priests should have... The priests should, uh... Should never attack. 
They they really should stand at the back just healing whomever needs it. All right, whatever. Well, we don't need bows. I jeez. Just sell my axes for some spare dosh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got a lot of food. Probably 10 days to go. We're going to we're going to lose some crops here. Should we even lose? Let's let's lose my iron too. We need lumber. Lumber, armor, and a couple other things. We don't want the wells. Nobody's too injured. We're getting we're getting stuff. Sign work. Okay. So I only need four. Back to lumber. We've barely taken any damage, and now we're going to have a silly amount of these. Oh. Arrows roll in. Yeah, I lost my healers, I think, in that mess. I, it's very hard to tell. There's no exact unit listing. I should have kept them in the back and, like, used and abused them somehow, but they weren't very good healers to begin with. Let's see, assign work. They're still spitting armor. We'll do one more day of armor and then we'll go back to prepping ballista. Ah, Skeleton King approaches at last. Real question is, which direction does the Skeleton King intend to come from? I don't know. Who knows? He could already be here. Oh, nope. Found him. Get a bit closer. All right, there we go. Let's see. He's already done that. Okay, I mainly just have to watch the paladin. Losing the paladin is a much bigger blow than losing any of my knights. That's a sound effect. And it looks like this guy over here is more than sufficient for what I need. Oh. Get out of that. It looks like he might have an AoE. Okay, shield faith, get in there. I think I might have lost some troops. I'm not entirely sure. Let's get him some health and we get... There we go. Uh, that's that's some good shit. Uh, let's see. Spears are... Damn cheap. In fact... Spears! Uh, that's enough for the shit ton of Ballista Towers. Saves me some time. Um... In that case, more armor. If we don't need food. We probably need lumber. Uh, 
Okay. More armor. Perfect. And then... When I have a decent surplus of lumber, I'm just gonna go nuts. Oh. Admittedly, the Pit Lords don't do a whole lot of damage. But let's at least repair some of the valuable stuff. As barely costs. We are we are golden. Noth nothing's gonna touch us here. Okay. Sign work. We've got we've only got a handful of days left. Do one more day. Okay, people heal slowly. Defenses. Ballista. How many ballistas can I jam into one zone? The answer is yes. I guess I'll put it there. That spot's pretty safe. Sign work. Okay, so we've lost a huge chunk of my workforce. But that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna keep producing armor for a while. As this arguably may be a little bit more useful than these. Demons? It had to be demons. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just realized we're in this kind of panic mode for a second here. These aren't demons, these are dragons. Get your shit together. Go for the dragons! Which... Wrecked my shit! Okay, we get some armor. Heavy armor boost any hero. We're gonna s switch it in here. Merchant card has arrived. Well, that sucks. Um, yeah, the beacon fire is totally done, too. Okay, it's fine. I can rebuild, I have the technology. I've still got all of my farms. We do have a merchant. I don't have, well they don't, they're not selling anything particularly helpful. Armor up. Yeah, it's not like I took a whole lot of direct damage there, it's just... Oh, yeah, your base. Uh, it's burning! Because nobody has any priorities, and also... Uh, whatever. Um... I've only got a handful of days left. We're just gonna... we're just gonna lose every... everything in favor of this for now. Now let's... let's go with three, just in case. No, let's go with six. That at least rebuilds some. 
My defenses will be good. Yeah, those heavy walls are great. Great as far as defenses go. And distractions go. Okay. Four days left. There's no way. We need lumber. I'm gonna have to make repairs. Yeah, how, how much food are we burning through? And also, like, who gives a damn? 33 eaten. Oh, yeah. No, they, they ain't touching me. Just buy a bunch of wood. Pit lords are pain in the ass, but not actually going to do anything. Okay, so I just need two people, and then everybody on lumber. Crops are, crops are done for, but... I mean, it, it really is do or die. Next order of business would be potentially spitting out some Templar, maybe? Probably too late for that. I guess I could get, uh, no. I don't have enough money anyway. Okay, demons had to be demons. Okay. This is just a giant mess. I don't even... Oh, it's just dead. I think it was distracted with the walls. It's very hard to tell. Okay. Now, those dragons are just kind of annoying. They're not... They're dangerous, for sure. But it's just kind of like, here's an enemy that exists purely to just invalidate your defenses. By the way, here's a lot of them, and it's like, oh. Yeah. Alright, did I lose anything else major? Yeah, I lost a solid chunk of my ballista towers there. God damn. I mean, we only have one day left, so as long as they survive... We're golden. Okay. Yeah, what I should have done was made it so that there is literally no space in my entire base... ...that he could even possibly hope to get into. That would have done the trick. Okay. Well, I have enough for a ballista. I'm gonna put it up here. Then otherwise... Fucking walls. Sign work. Nothing. This is the last day. 
So, assuming they don't get through my remaining heroes and whatnot, I think we'll be golden. There we go. Perfect. Can build everything. Distractions! Looks like dragons can land on houses. I think they can land on roads. <laughs> okay, suddenly the ground quakes and splits open before Ironhold. Demons pour from the burning fissures, cackling with glee. First imps, then lumbering pit lords. Last, a huge beast rises from the flames. The demon lord dwarfs your troops as he strides towards the front gate. The time end has come? Time has come. I don't know. Concentrate my troops. I should have probably... No. You're there. Okay, we're good. It's actually ain't a half bad song. Sort of. It's maybe a little over dramatic. Okay, the dragon's cometh. He's just distracted over there. Oh, hi. Guess I should probably go fight the uh, pit demon. Pit fiend? Is that it, actually? That might just be the boss. What are we looking at? Okay, I am taking some damage here. Is he dead? spare forces I have should GTFO from Armageddon Blast Man. Alright. Whatever. I did the thing. I think I beat the game. Hooray! The final battle at Ironhold was long and brutal. Many fell, but in the end, the Veilguard were able to defeat the forces of evil. With the Dark Generals defeated, the people of the Vale are safe at long last. The Vale is in shambles, but with this final victory, many lives were saved. The people will need to start anew, building towns and farms from the ashes of war. Like they have done for decades, with the help of the Vale Guard, they will rebuild. The end. really could it yeah compress that just a little <laughs> I, I am I am a bit apologetic uh for being flipped this wasn't a terrible uh game at all uh I I I rather enjoyed it it's simple but for a one-man game uh it worked rather well it just needs depth uh just more depth and I'm still not sure about the whole, like, FTL mechanics. I'd almost really rather it be, like, each run was a new town. Um. Oh, cool. So I can start with... Starts with these. Bowen, Axeman, Ballista Tower, Spearman, Axeman, Archer Tower. Uh, that's good to know. I want to try Archer Towers at some point, because the Ballistas were a little bit peasly, but they did a lot of damage, so it wasn't so bad. Um. But yeah, I don't know. Uh... As far as, like, solo projects go, not bad. But at this point, I kind of feel like I've seen what I care to see. It looks like there's a bunch more characters to unlock, um, and unlock systems like that would be kind of cool. Uh, but for... I mean, how long have I played this at this point? I've put in about two hours, and I don't really feel like there's enough for four more hours. Yeah, there was a solo project. Yes! 
That was. Uh, so, I should probably mention that to anybody watching this video. That was a- this is a one-man game, so... Uh, take that with a, a very nice, fine grain of salt. Um, if a, a team of 15 people had made this, I think it would be much more judgmental. But uh, as far as a one-man thing goes, not bad. Not bad at all. Anywho, I'll see you guys on the, well, not next episode of Veilguard. I'll, I might come back if there's ever a major, major patch. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to go on to other roguelikes. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.